Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakes, that as we do each and every Wednesday. It's Wednesday already, it man. Is, you man, gotta I love know. it. And hey, listen, man. Where, where, where are, where are, where are these currencies, man? This is, this is like uh, uh, where are they, where, where ground, uh, Groundhog Day, man. And listen, every trading day, folks, you can reach Teddy at forex-trading-unlock.com. Uh, Teddy Cakes, that what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. Morning, Teddy. Hey, the euro saved itself again. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. It's like somebody spray, sprinkled some fairy dust on the uh, currency market yesterday. You know, it's like uh, the U.S. dollar Swiss, they touched parity and then they fell off. The euro um, tried to make a new low around 111.5 and fell short, fell just shy of hitting a new low. Yes. So that shows a nice little support bounce there. And now they're higher, you know. So I think that um, with the news that came out, because remember last week we were talking about the whole Brexit thing. Yes. Now, magically, yesterday, before yesterday, they're like, "Oh, was it on uh, on Monday?" They were saying that Theresa May, there's four different deals for Brexit. Nothing's going to go through. What can she turn things? How can she turn things around? And everyone's against her. Right. Now this morning, they're saying, "Oh my gosh, she's almost like a savior now. Like, oh, this could possibly work." You oh, know? Really? Like, oh my yeah, God. she's going to work with labor, right? Wow. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me Absolutely. ask you something, right? Have you, you know, I know you've been trading currencies forever. Have 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 like a news event? When, or when was the last news event that this was going on so long? Or, or is this different? Do you know what I mean? Maybe oh, this is... I don't ever remember anything like this. With okay, the yeah. Movies. I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. It's it's because it's it, yeah it's it's territory because have we ever had a, a big giant member of the EU no, take three no, years would, to try and leave? Right. right I mean, it is right, it's staggering. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Sure. Sure. And this is also unique because even though they've been part of the EU, the pound has always existed. Yeah, you know? right. So it's, it's not like they're just breaking away and they have to figure out a currency structure. Their currency has been free floating since this whole thing has been gone from the you know, beginning. Yeah. And the they were smart to Great do point. that, man. Yeah. They um, were definitely well, smart to do that. Sure. Yeah. If Absolutely. I remember when they when they were first combining the EU and I'm like, I really hope we don't lose the pound like this whole one currency thing is. I mean, if we had one world currency, that would be a very bad thing. There's a reason for having multiple currencies. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, I, I and I, I forget when they were doing it, how they actually got to be part of the union and say, no, I'm keeping my currency at the same time, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, good. It's, it's, it's wild watching the thing shake out. Particularly, you know, that euro yesterday, it looked like it was going to jump off the cliff again. And then it said, nope, I'm not going to get below this. I'm not going to stay below this 112. That's kind of what it, it seems like it's like. I, I like the idea they're both moving. We'll see um, if there's any pressure on the dollar. Right now, you know, every time, now I'm only looking at the dollar index, Teddy, but mm -hmm. every time it goes down, there's no sellers. Do you know what I mean? Is that, there's, there's no buyers well, when we get up at these levels. You pull sure. back a little and there's no sellers. It's like, okay, you know. Right, right. Well, especially like with the euro, like we've talked about this before, like um, with they were bashing the euro economy, saying it's slowing down and what have you. And that's something that came out yesterday. And today, all the numbers, they defied their their consensus of what they've been saying for months, that there is a slowdown. All their numbers are showing there's not a slowdown in the EU and especially in Germany, you know. So and I think that's why you're getting this bounce again. Cause we've talked make, about yeah. this. Now, they cannot hammer it below 112. It just there's nothing to push. There's no sellers down there to to hammer new lows. Right. All the buying comes. In. That's kind of get intriguing, man. You know, yeah. because you have uh, Asia. I mean, the Shanghai market is on fire, man. That came off those lows in, in January 3rd, and I mean that thing's already up 30. Excuse me, up 30 percent. You know, if mm -hmm. Europe starts moving up uh, currency wise too. Then it's like, okay, man, we already went through a downdraft. You know, well, the right. world went through a downdraft. I don't think we went through a downdraft. But if the acceleration starts, then I guess it's going to be game on as to what economy um, is going to be running, the, you know, the, the fastest, right, as to where these right. currencies want to go. Well, the velocity of money kicks into gear, you yes. know. So, and then all, all of a sudden, that's when you start to get serious trends again in the currency. And the carry trade, like we said before, over the past couple of weeks, is pretty much off the table. I mean, now we have this extreme dovishness going. It seems like who can be more dovish now across the central banks now? It's, it's like a competition, you know. So, um, but I still think the carry trade is off the table. Yeah, and it would seem, I mean, you know, I know we have the dovishness out there. There's no doubt. And interest rates hit a low last week. But the market's at highs. So it's like, okay, what's everyone so dovish about, right? 
Yeah. I want, don't get me wrong, I want the interest rates to stay low. <laughs> You're not the only right. one. Sorry. Right, right. <laughs> you know, but it's like, okay, if, 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 if everything's oh, going... I agree, right? Yeah, yeah, if everything's going up and it seems like, you know, the cash flow is there, it's like, okay, when are they going to, when are they going to make a turn and say, okay, maybe we will raise rates one more time, you know? So. Oh, but you guys, the one thing we have to look at, though, is look at oil. You know, yes. oil is really high. And we're hitting this this three dollar when you have for regular on lead in when it's at the three dollar mark or higher that's when people stop spending. It's not that they're going into trouble yet because people are making good money, but if you're three dollars and you're at the pump every time for the average person, that's when they start thinking, you know what? This week we're not going out to dinner with that third on Thursday it's a night. It's a big just, number. It is. Yeah, all of a sudden it's fifty bucks at the pump in no like, time, right? Yeah, like for nothing. Yeah. Right. Unreal. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to speaking to next Wednesday, Teddy. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Thanks, Teddy. And listen, folks, yeah. you can reach Teddy every trading day at forex-training-unlock.com. Tommy and I come right back, folks.